Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna look at uh, my first beer from Australia. This is from Mountain Goat Beer down in Victoria, Australia. And this is their Australian Pale Ale. I can't really do the accent very well. But I uh, just saw this at uh, Bevmo, which is a California chain store. This is a 6.2% Pale Ale. What's cool about this is they use uh, fried wing ringwood hops for bittering. They uh, finish it with citra hops, and then they dry hop it with Galaxy. So uh, I believe Pride and Wingwood, Ringwood and Galaxy are both native Australian hops. So I've never had either of those two hop varieties in beer, so I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Okay, so appearance-wise on this one, it's a little darker than you typically get on an American Pale Ale. It's kind of like a dark burnt orange into almost a light red color. You've got about a finger or so of kind of light uh, off-white sort of yellow tinge head on there. Let's get the aroma on it. Oh, it smells fantastic. Wow, it's like really sweet hop notes. Oh, wow, that is that is fantastic. Peach notes. Almost like sugar-coated like apricot or something, like candied apricot. It has this sweet floral, like sweet orange notes. Um, so probably some of that citrus coming through as well. Yeah, like uh, like dry tropical fruits is kind of what I get because it kind of has like a like a sh more sugary note. Not really any uh, malt coming through on the nose, at least not this temperature. So uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. That's good stuff. That's um. Really highly drinkable, um, very clean, flavorful beer. Big fruity notes on this beer, just huge fruit character, but not fruit from really much of the malts. The malt's kind of there in the background, but the hops really shows off these uh, Australian hops, and well, plus the uh, citrus, American variety in there too, but yeah, just. Yeah, almost like a candied hop type of a beer up front. So up front, falls the nose really well. Sort of like a sweet peach, sweet apricot, sweet orange. Maybe a touch of like mango in there. Those like big fruit character. Um, midway through, you start to get almost like a lighter sort of berry note. Slight, slight touch of... Um, like a caramel note in there too. I'm guessing they're using some crystal malts to get it this color and then finishes dry with, uh, with a, a bready malt character on the back end. So really impressed with this beer. Um, first time I've ever uh, seen it was very recently at Bedmo so I recommend going and pick this one up. It's kind of very interesting uh, sort of hard to look at label but there's some some cool little uh, Aussie touches on the on the uh, label, so Mountain Goat. Uh, I'm gonna give this thing a, an A minus. I think this is a really really nice pale ale, one of the better pale ales I've had. Tastes pretty fresh. This bottle I have, the best before date is the uh, 28th of April of next year. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's six months after they've brewed it or not, but uh, if so, it's still a really fresh beer. So uh, you know, as long as that's uh, Got at least four months to go. I'd say uh, I recommend picking this beer up for sure. It's a uh, it's a really excellent pale ale. First time we got to try Galaxy hops, so that was very cool. I'm gonna try to get a hold of those and use use them in a future homebrew if I can. But yeah, if you want, it, it's sort of like those uh, New Zealand hops. It has that sweeter, fruitier kind of hop character. Um, bitterness level on this is just enough to keep it so it's slightly hop forward. But um, finishes really clean and uh, recommend this one. So uh, until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.